and welcome to my new vlog. Um, today it's a Saturday, it's actually Saturday morning. I just uh, finished the night shift at work and I have another night shift next week. So it's uh, yeah, like next, not this night, but tomorrow night I have to work again. And I do want to have some form of weekend, so um, I'm not gonna sleep now, I'm just literally going to jump right into the weekend. By going to a vintage store with my mom, uh, I just sort of want to like look at what they have, but specifically I really hope they have a nice coat, a vintage style coat. Uh, because I don't really have that. I have coats that are old, but not in the good way, I guess. Um, and coats that are more like rock chick style, well one coat that is rock chick style. But yeah, one more. So um, yeah, let's go. And it's time for the shopping haul. I just filmed a makeup tutorial, so we're sort of at a weird angle, but I'm going to show you the clothes in a moment. So that's why the angle is like this. Um, I mentioned the makeup tutorial because that's why we suddenly have light in the attic. I'm actually still using my filming lamps at this point. Anyway, but I went to the vintage store. It's um, Vendeu Vintage in the center of Rotterdam at Goudse Single. Um, seriously, a handwritten, a handwritten receipt. Like you don't really get it anymore. Like it's so vintage. I love it. Anyway, I brought three things. They were all like 34 or 35 euros per piece. Um, but yeah, I bought two jackets, this light jacket for in autumn and one pair of trousers. First jacket I bought is this one. It's, I don't know, I feel like it's a sort of wool fabric. It feels like my skirt, but even softer probably with age. Um, but yeah, it's really, really, really cool. And it just looks, I don't know, fancy yet cozy. Uh, I also like how these, I really hope you could hear that, but they like, they tingle. It's so fun. I like stuff like that. Anyway, um, I do feel like if you're gonna wear this when it's actually cold, you're gonna have to wear a thick scarf here because otherwise, you know, this entire area is like open to the elements. But I do think it looks really, really, really cute. I really like it. It looks, I don't know, it looks classy, but all to me, it just gives me autumn vibes and I love autumn. So yeah, I'm definitely going to use this as a coat very often. It's also like, it's, it's loose enough to be comfy, you know, so I can also put thick sweaters beneath it. Um, yeah, really, really, really like it. So that's the piece number one. Then I also bought a pair of trousers. It just occurred to me that I really need more space for coats downstairs now. Anyway, I also bought a pair of trousers. Wasn't planning on it, but I saw them in this color and I was like, it's really cool. They're sort of like a 70s flare, which is really awesome. Um, and also the original owner actually uh, made them smaller. You can still tell on the back where the newer seams have been. But I made it back into its old shape by hand. Because um, apparently my ass is bigger than their, their ass was. Um, <laughs> so yeah. It looks quite nice if I may say so myself. Like you can't really tell easily that it's been, you know... Soon back together by someone who is clearly an amateur. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice pair of trousers. I really like this as well. Definitely going to enjoy wearing it. And I think they'll go well. Actually, I already tried it last night. They'll go really well with the second jacket that I bought. Which is more of a... Like it's a thinner jacket than this one. But it's um, like don't... Don't... Mm, like... Don't see this as a full outfit. Because I know this doesn't quite match with this. Um, but yeah, on like more evenly colored clothes i think this looks really cool um this is a little bit oversized on me but also with like how these sleeves are like sort of like naturally folded up a little bit i don't know it just it's like chic but casual i don't know like i like the vibe of it it also has this button on the inside here so what i want to do is just close it up like this so it does actually stay closed and then put a belt around it I just totally grabbed it the wrong way and I can't close it that way. Give me 10 seconds. Um, but yeah, I had this gold waist belt thingy that I didn't actually use for anything. Partly because I have difficulties closing it, apparently. And it's really perfect for this thing. If I can manage to snap it shut. Okay. Uh, but yeah. 
I don't know, like I just really like how it looks synced in at the waist. Um, yeah, this thing is nice and casual chic. Just imagine it with like plain trousers. Imagine it with these trousers underneath, you know. It's really, really nice. And I really actually love the pattern on this. It's just vintage. -y. It's vintage -y and I love vintage. So yeah, I'm really happy with the stuff that I bought. And today is Sunday morning. Well, today is Sunday and it is morning. Anyway, I'm going shopping with friends today, so I'll try to like shoot some clips of the city if I can. And um, yeah, maybe if I buy stuff, I'll do a shopping haul. Also, I'm going to go on a um, like we're going bowling with work. I hate bowling. I, li I like work things, but I hate bowling. Like I'm, I'm terrible at it. Um, but yeah, let's get going. And as promised, we're here for a mini shopping haul. Um, so yeah, let's start at the beginning with a makeup product that I bought. This is a gel eyeliner by Kiko, the lasting gel eyeliner. Um, yeah, people who've watched my YouTube channel for a long time probably recognize this product because I used to use it quite often. Uh, then I used other products for a while. It's just a black eyeliner. It's, it looks like a black eyeliner. I don't know why I bought a show that. But anyways, it's really, 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 <laughs> really good. So good it makes me cough. It's really, really, really good. Um, but the old one, it was almost empty and then it dried out, so I had to buy a new one. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to enjoy using this. Um, I also went to Claire's, was Kiko, by the way. Did I mention that? I think I did. Anyway, I also went to Claire's because I needed some other stuff. I didn't buy a lot, by the way. Um, but yeah, I bought a sleeping mask because I only have one. And uh, when I throw it in the washing machine, I have none to use. So I needed a second one. This one is a fake silk. I'm pretty sure it's fake silk because it wasn't that expensive. It has rhinestones on it. I don't know if they're actually going to last in the washing machine. But they look nice for now. And besides, I plan on wearing this while I'm sleeping. So, yeah, I mean, it's nice if it looks nice. But it doesn't have to, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it's elastic and very soft and kind of thick. And it just blacks out the world. Pretty good. So... I'm happy with that. Um, now that I look at it, it's less dark, I think, than the other one I have. But, yeah, you know, it's dark enough, I hope. And otherwise, it wasn't expensive, so I can always buy some more. Because especially with the night shift, I just want to be able to block out the light when I have to sleep during the day. Yeah. I also bought a hairband. Uh, just some nice vintage style and i feel like this is just a color that fits with a lot of my outfits so that's really nice like it's black and gray but from a distance it looks slightly brown so it can fit with both so it's not too dark not too light it's just nice um and it also has a little bow tie on it that you can sort of like shove around so you can always move it to the back if you don't want it to show or like rip it off whatever i kind of like it though so i'm just going to um leave it be and i also lastly bought a <laughs> small um Umbrella because I, ha I had two small ones and I lost one of them because I tied it to my camera bag on vacation and it fell and I lost it because I didn't notice it falling. I only noticed once I was back home. I needed a new one, so I bought this one with like stars and an eyeball and yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, they had rainbow ones, I really wanted a rainbow one as well, but I usually in my spare time. When I end up using umbrellas, I is usually wear vintage wear and I feel like this just fits with, with the color, particularly with the color. It fits a lot better than rainbow, so I went for this. Might go back and buy a rainbow one as well. I sort of also want the rainbow one, but this one is really pretty too. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, going to get a lot of use out of this. And that concludes the shopping haul. And today is Wednesday, um, it's my dad's birthday today and I also have this day off and tomorrow off because we're going to go on a trip to a hotel for one night just to go out for dinner. And we're also going hiking so I'm wearing an outfit that's like good for both. But I'm going to change the shoes while hiking because I don't want to risk these shoes in the forest. Um, also seriously I'm so glad I bought the Kiko gel liner again, I'm wearing it now, it works so well. Like I forgot how good it is when it's not basically empty and dried out. It's so good. Um, I also use the Ink Brow by Urban Decay, which is why my eyebrows are quite a bit darker than I usually do. 
but if you wash your face carefully you can wear this for like three to four days straight so that's really good and really handy when you go to a hotel because now i don't have to fix my eyebrows tomorrow always good laziness um so yeah the plan is to go like i said hiking and go out for dinner and stuff so um i'll take you along and i almost forgot suske So we just went to uh, La Plage for a little pit stop. You can hear the navigation in the backdrop. Anyway, um, so yeah, you saw the footage of my food because I am one of those vloggers who shares images of her food and drinks because I love food and drinks, especially anything pumpkin in autumn. And I just had a pumpkin spice latte. It's so good. Like seriously, the La Plage pumpkin spice latte is like, it's good coffee. And it's like, it's sweet, it's pumpkin. It's whipped cream, I love it. Anyway, we're back on our way now. arrived at the hotel. There was a view outside. This is a view of me. This is the fix of my bangs because I just took my head off. And noodles. But yeah, we're here. Um, I have a room upstairs. Just a two-person room. And there's also a the bathroom here with a shower and a toilet that I'm going to use in a moment but without the actual vlogging camera on obviously. Um, so yeah, now uh, next up we're going to have some dinner and um, yeah, nice. Uh, this is by the way uh, Land Hotel De Borken, a Fletcher hotel. We've been here before but it's always fun here so um, we're, that's why we're here again. Um, so yeah, I'll see you again in a bit. And here is the bathroom in my parents' room. Um, they have a bigger room obviously because there's two of them. Duh. So yeah, I won't film my mom redressing. Um, but anyway, so like the style is really cool. It's a sort of vintage and all. And for those who've watched my vlogs for a longer amount of time, they still have the old like carousel horse in the hallway. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, I'll figure I'll film it on the way to the uh, restaurant. Also, they have a little terrace. Nice. Thank you. 
And it's morning again, so I tidied up all my stuff and we're gonna get breakfast soon and um, then we're gonna go on a walk again. Now, that's it. You have to and what you just saw was the horse in the hallway. Um, I'm just holding my arm up so you don't see my dad's face. Anyway, and this is my little outfit of the day. We're now at uh, Huisberg in Serenberg. We just had dinner, lunch in like a cafe here. It's so good, like seriously. I shared it on my Insta stories, but I ate it too fast to actually vlog it. Anyway, we're now going to uh, walk in the gardens here. Today is Wednesday. I'm going to start. I'm going to. I'm going to end the vlog today. Duh. Um, so I can start editing the vlog. Was my point. And yeah, I've went. I went to the cinema today. So I thought I'd do a mini movie review as well as usual. Um, I've seen the horror movie The Barbarian. It's a really cool horror movie. It has a scary bits. It has some cliche bits, but like mostly the scary bits were really good. Uh, I liked the horrific past thing of it, you know, like that's just entirely my vibe with horror stories. I like things with horrific past. So yeah, right up my alley. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I definitely recommend it if you also enjoy horror movies. Um, yeah, one hint without spoiling anything. You're going to be surprised about how about who you feel sorry for in the end. Yeah, not gonna spoil anything though. You just gotta watch it if you enjoy horror movies. If you don't like scary movies, you probably won't enjoy it, but you know. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, it for this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button. It would really help me out because it makes YouTube suggest my videos more often to new people. Um, if you want to see more videos, you can always subscribe to my channel. I actually mostly do makeup tutorials, but also obviously regularly vlogs. And yeah, that's it. And oh, by the way, like two weeks ago, I went shopping with friends and I saw this sweatshirt at Bershka. It was actually in the men's department, but anyway. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, I didn't buy it then because I was like, I don't really need a new sweatshirt. And then I couldn't like forget about it. So I went back and bought it anyway. Today? I mean, I was in the, I was in the center of the city anyways for the cinema. So, yeah. I'm happy with it. It's nice and cozy. Um, yeah, that's actually the end of the vlog. Thank you very much for watching. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye!